No. <clears throat> now, he's cost himself more money in his deal that is to come, but he hasn't cost himself a new deal. Here's why I say this. The ultimate signature on a new deal is the owner. Mm. And the owner of the Cleveland Browns is Jimmy Haslam. Jimmy Haslam and I arrived in Cleveland at the same time. What that means is this. <clears throat> Jimmy Haslam knows of every quarterback that has preceded Baker Mayfield, including the quarterbacks I played with and everyone that came afterwards. Jimmy Haslam realizes that there were 12 quarterbacks that arrived in Cleveland mm. prior to Baker Mayfield, and none of them won games at the rate that Baker Mayfield has won games. I'm not going to shout them all out, but y'all look at it. You got guys like Deshaun Kaiser who were 0 and 15. <clears throat> guys like Josh McCown who were 1 and 10. You got guys like uh, Robert Griffin who was 1 and 4. Guys like Johnny Manziel, first round pick, who were 2 and 6. You all get the point. 12 quarterbacks that preceded Baker Mayfield, it took them 96 games just to win 20. It took Baker Mayfield 41 games to win 21. So if you are Jimmy Haslam <clears throat> and you are the ultimate signature on mm -hmm. a new deal for Baker Mayfield, and you know what existed prior to Baker Mayfield, you will not hesitate to sign a deal for Baker Mayfield. He ain't cost himself a new deal. I'll lastly summarize the point in a way that I just now thought of and I realize most people haven't thought of. This is why Baker Mayfield didn't cost himself a new deal sale. Let's go. Most people are looking at Baker Mayfield and saying he is not as good as what the future has to offer. But you got to look at Baker Mayfield and say he is so much better than what the past had for us. When you look at Baker Mayfield in comparison with the past, as opposed to looking at Baker Mayfield in comparison with the anonymous future, then you realize just how valuable Baker Mayfield is. Mm. Baker Mayfield is not the greatest thing the Cleveland Browns will ever have. No. But he is the greatest thing <clears throat> the Cleveland Browns have had in the last 25 years. Right. Um, I follow everything you're saying. And I respect everything you're saying. And that's why Baker Mayfield is costing himself a new deal. Now, a new deal. A new deal is different than the old deal that was going to be offered to Baker Mayfield. The old deal is always the status quo deal that we're all thinking about. If I don't splash in the NFL, then they ain't going to give me nothing new that's beyond what I'm getting in reality. New means imagination takes over. Old means, hey, I'm just a guy. I'm just one of the other guys on this team. I'm just another quarterback. Baker Mayfield finds himself in this position because I told you just bought a new home. I saw it on uh, Instagram. I saw it on Twitter. I retweeted it, right? Would you ever bought that dream home in a bad neighborhood? Well, you know what? You want to know why? Two things at play. One, I don't want to be around all that, right? And two, the cops will limit the value of what you are. Now, you're selling me a different proposition. You said that Baker Mayfield, hey, this is the home you got. And it's a bad neighborhood. Look at all these quarterbacks. You named them all. But this is going to help your value. Now, nowhere in the world does it help your value that having that situation, except in the NFL. But you know how it helps your value? You know how it activates your value? When you help yourself help that value. Baker Mayfield has not helped himself. Baker Mayfield has shown that he's more of the same than different. Therefore, his value will be compromised. I give it to you simply like this. Baker Mayfield has not separated himself from the pack. So no new deal, no imagination deal is going to take over. It's going to be more of the contemplation. Is he just like that long-ass list you just gave us of suspect quarterbacks? Because Baker Mayfield right now is suspect. How is he on a team that has top five defense, top five running game, Everything you look at in every major statistical category is a top-tier unit. Offensive line, tight ends, wide receiver, et cetera. And then there are 26 in passing. And Baker Mayfield dictates one thing in terms of major statistical categories, the passing game. So Kevin Stefanski, who has that meeting with Jimmy Haslam, says this, we're great everywhere else except... And then you think the pushback's going to be, but he's better than the worst we've had. That's not good enough to get you a new deal. It gets you the old deal. It gets you the regular deal. It gets you the status quo deal. But it won't take you to a place of imagination. So Baker Mayfield is costing himself not only a new deal, but money even in that old deal. I would agree with you if everything you said was true and accurate. Okay. But it's not just that Baker Mayfield is better than the worst the Browns have had. Baker Mayfield is better than the best the Browns have had. Bernie Kosar? Since Bernie Kosar. Since I'm finishing that oh, sentence. Oh, since Bernie Kosar in oh, 1988, okay. 1989. But a second, Dad. Like, Baker Mayfield is better than the best the Browns have had in 26 years. So if you're Jimmy Haslam, I would ask head coach Kevin Stefanski this. If not Baker, 
Then who? Because so often we ask Rob Chichinsky, Chizinski, head coach for the Browns. Hey, then who? We ask Pat Shermer, a head coach for the Browns. Hey, then who? We ask Freddie Kitchens. Hey, then who? We ask so many coaches for the Browns. Hey, then who? And all of their answers turned out to be lies. Because <laughs> all of their answers were not better answers than the solutions they had before. So if I'm Jimmy Haslam and it's not Baker Mayfield, then it's very simple. Then who? But I know this much. It's hard to get free agents to Cleveland. Why? Because it's Cleveland. I would mm. rather go to Arizona. I would rather go to Dallas. Yeah, I would yeah. rather go to Houston. I would rather go to Miami. I would rather go to San Francisco. I'd rather go somewhere else than Cleveland, just by mm. nature of, one, the weather, by nature of the history, history of the organization. Yeah. So it's not a free agent. Is it a draft pick? Because ain't no great draft picks at quarterback coming out this year. Not like the years past when there were five first-rounders. I study college football. Ain't a great draft pick. We got to make a trade? We're going to go acquire Aaron Rodgers? You think Aaron Rodgers is going to come to Cleveland? We're going to acquire Deshaun Watson and go through all of those legal question marks? What, we're going to go try to get Kirk Cousins, see if we can reunite and make it feel so good? So <laughs> if not Baker Mayfield, then who? Yeah. And until you can give me a good answer, I've already checked through all the answers and there isn't a good one. Mm. Until you can give me a good answer, Kevin Stefanski, it's very simple. Yeah. Be thankful for what you have and be careful for what you wish for. Um, I disagree with that last part. Um, in life, you don't have to have an answer to know what the answer should be, know what the answer is. Like, this, would, this really what handicaps a lot of people and, and freezes them, paralysis by analysis. Doing nothing is something. Like, doing nothing with Baker Mayfield, just letting him erode and rot away and not give him a new deal, is something. Doing nothing is something. I try to tell my wife this all the time because she likes to do things. I'm like, sometimes just sit there and let this world keep spinning. If you notice, if you sit still, this world is always spinning. This world is going to make it work. And then you got to activate at the proper time. So, old saying is, I could do bad by myself. You know, when people are in bad relationships, like, if you're the Cleveland Browns, you know how many bad ex-boyfriends you done had? Then you got Bernie Kozar sitting there like, I told you you should have married me. And then he's like, well, you're too old now. So then you get Baker Mayfield, and all of a sudden you're sitting there smiling and all this stuff. Dog, as I used to remix it, not only can I do bad by myself, I could do bad by my lonely. Like, I ain't got to do nothing, because I know what something looks like. And this ain't something. This is nothing. This is more of the same. And it's not based on me. It's based on him. Baker Mayfield is in money times. Acho, let's stop. Money times. That's like the boss is coming up to us right now and say, hey, Acho, I'm going to give you a little prep. Next week, those shows, if those are fire, the, the bank is open. The vault's open. How would you perform? And I don't want to hear about the injuries because then I personalize it. I had a back surgery in my contract year. I had a foot surgery in my contract year and still was like, yo, I got to get my money because if I can, I will. That's the most disturbing part to me about Baker Mayfield is that he is capable of doing this and he can do it. He's still on the field. But will he do it? Bruh, everybody on that team is looking at him, hitting him with that old school. A hey, dog for real. Now, I've learned that when someone say, hey, dog, for real, that's the last warning before it's going to get raw and real out here. We ain't going to go to blows. I ain't going to beat you up, Baker, Baker Mayfield, mentally or physically, to make you play better, but hey, dog, for real. Like, <laughs> the running game, the defense, Miles Garrett, old line tight ends, versus, hey, dog, for real. What you going to do? And Baker Mayfield so far, he ain't doing enough. He ain't going to get that money.